give you a big picture, and I'm going to pull us back into how this relates to uh, child welfare, families and, and children, and substance abuse. Uh, members, in 1960s, 1960s, heroin devastated our people. It hit the U.S., and it was a crushing blow to our people. It just devastated our people. Back in the 1980s and 1990s, crack cocaine hurt our inner cities. Exploded upon the scene, crack cocaine, powder cocaine, really was a gut punch to America. We're beginning, we're beginning to see a pattern. In the early 2000s, crystal meth wiped out cities. You all know about the meth labs throughout our nation. And Hawaii, because we're non-contiguous, like Rep Wilson and I, we're not part of the contiguous U.S. Alaska and Hawaii, Hawaii was devastated per capita. We were really hit hard by the, the crystal net epidemic. And now we come to 2010, and we see the opioid epidemic. And, and the scary thing about this, we, we're, we see a pattern here, and in, according to CDC, in 2016, 64,000 Americans died with drug overdose. And that, that's the highest. That, that is a, a scary fact, dubious fact for our people in the United States. Now, now what's the one commonality that we see when we talk about heroin and cocaine, and I didn't mention it, but alcohol, crystal meth, opioids, and a number of other drugs that I haven't even mentioned. The one commonality is addiction. So as we joined as opioid fellows, and I hope the next class, many of you will be part of that because Senator Wilson and I had a great time. We learned so much, and, and it was awesome, just like this class was, because there was no one upmanship. Everyone was working with each other to better their state. It was a, a beautiful thing. The one commonality is addiction. And so if we, opioids now, fentanyl is now going to be the next killer, severe killer. Ten years from now, there's going to be another drug. It, it's just, it's a pattern, and we know it. So when we met as fellows, we talked about the big picture. We need a systematic change on addiction. And it's not only on opioids, it's on everything. Because as Kate was there and we were talking to our experts, when we put the lowdown on suppressing opioid addiction, guess what? Heroin goes up, crystal meth goes up, um, alcohol goes up, abuses of other drugs will go up. So we need to have a, a collaborative front when dealing with addiction. Here's the focus. When you talk about rehab, six months or, or even even a year of rehab, that's great. If the state will pay that, if the Family First Act works on prevention and will pay that, that's great. Uh, six weeks, six months, a year. I, I'm going to tell you folks, it's not enough. Once you have an addiction, it's a lifetime. It's a lifetime. We're going to a wonderful speaker, I won't mention her name. Um, she was addicted and she got out of her addiction and now she's a, a motivational speaker. She was at our, our last conference for uh, Health and Human Services Chair. She did a great job. Rehab needs to be a lifetime commitment. And this relates to child welfare services and our families that might be afflicted with, with addiction. We need a strong support system. So when you're talking about families, children with their, their parents or foster parents, um, or their, their regular parents that unfortunately got addicted to something, you also need a strong support group, be it AA, family, church, your DHS worker, your nonprofits. You need that support system and you need to continue it for a lifetime. And once you're able to beat your addiction, it's always going to be there in the back of your mind. So you need to know later on you'll be a mentor to someone else, but you can always backslide. Addiction is a major concern. Once we get that mom or dad stable and we allow them to heal, we need to have them build self-confidence. After that, we need to help them be examples to mentor others. So intervention services for children and uh, for families and children that are dealing with substance abuse is important, but that's just the start. That's day one. This is going to be a lifetime. And again, if they can be successful, and I'm a realist, you're not going to save everyone. But if, if you can save that mom or dad or that, that family that has a substance abuse problem, um, they're going to be a prime example, shining example. 
Ms. O'Carrion, I've heard uh, Representative Gray yesterday did a great job from Utah talk about Vivitrol and how it helps dead it get craving for, for drugs. Uh, in Vega does the same. That, that's only one aspect. Again, it needs a whole systemic change in your lifestyle. You need to stay with that support system and stay real. Uh, Florida State, Senate Bill 20.